Hello everybody and welcome back to Spectre. We're going to be looking at all the lore that has been added in the game recently. So, for example, last week they added the clinic remodels uh, secret easter egg kind of thing that adds a bunch of lore. And also today they added the other hideout secret lore. So there is now two easter eggs that you can do. There's two badges to get as well. I'm going to be showing you how to do both of them in this video, which we're going to be starting on Raymond's clinic because it was done about a week ago. Which, I hate saying that because it reminds me of a freaking stupid song. But we're going to be showing you guys how to do it. So first things first, we're going to be on the map of course. It does not matter what difficulty, what items you have. But I'm not entirely sure if you do this on mobile. So I apologize about that. If you can, that's good. But on PC, all you want to do is find these files like this. Press F to pick it up. And you want to take them into the color matching room. So since this one's green... I want the wall to be green, and then I will place it inside of this thing right here. Alright, screw you, ghost. So, the green one will go all the way over into the file room, which is at the end of the hallway down here. In this little light cubby. I think the toilet's making sounds, which I, I would go fangirl over it, but we have business today. So, let's just put that in there. Then we're going to use our long little slender arms to grab this one. And we're going to take this into the back room. that there then we have to oh a bone i want that okay then we take this one into the staff room which is orange and then we have to head over here back to the file room and grab i believe the red one which we have to take all the way upstairs into lombardi's office so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this upstairs and teleport so i'll see you guys in there in a second okay like i said we'll be up there in a second so we're going to be putting this down right on his desk and then we're going to take this blue one and bring it back downstairs. So just close this door just to be safe. Although we're just going to be opening it again just to put it down here. So we're going to place that there and then let's teleport back upstairs yet again. Okay, so we're back upstairs. Um, let's just put this down, I guess, right here. Sure. Okay, so these will just be cycling through the screen over and over and over again. So there is five of these, so once there's five of them that go through the loop, we will just be... The ghost was literally right behind me. That is not fair. So let's just uh, let's just leave this on the screen for a little bit. I'll show you guys all five of them for about five seconds each. You could pause the video, you could read them yourself. I'm sorry that I'm not doing it. And then we're going to be moving on to Hideout. And now, like I said, we're also going to be taking a look at the new Seeker on the Hideout remake, which I believe is a little bit easier to solve than the one that was on Clinic. This one deals with vents, which you will see in a moment. These are, I believe, randomized, and you have to actually, you know, use your eyes and memory to figure out how to do it. So once we head inside, you're going to be seeing a lot of events around the map okay we can see one right now and it is literally just right here you could click on them and it makes a sound right so if you go around some of these vents might have smoke coming out of them right so that one does not this one does not uh this one does not there's one over here as well this one does not so I believe there's one or two of these, which you have to click them like within around, you know, the same amount of time limit. And I believe then a key will fall outside on the balcony upstairs. So you just have to, you know, remember where both of them are and you just have to figure out how to get to them as fast as possible because I think there is a time limit. Okay, none there. Hopefully they're both kind of close to each other up here. Uh, as you can see, there's one right here. So we will click this, and that will turn it off. And then I believe we have to find another one. Which I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works yet. It's just last time I did this, I had to click on one of them. And then a second one was just like, hey, you gotta click me too. So we did that one. 
And now we're just going to take a look around. This one as well is also smoking. Which I believe this is the, the same one I almost always get. But I do have the first one randomized. And if you come outside, outside this vent is a key you can pick up. With a F, I believe. And then that means we can now go into this secret room. I don't think I'm going anywhere. My heart just stopped. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to go into this secret room here. And we would have just unlocked the badge, which we already have it. But uh, let's start with looking at this. It's the start of a new friendship, Lombardi. You know me as Theodore Raymond, as we met recently. I need you to take out the Prime Detective. His wife will be driving to my clinic in three days. The detective should also be in the car. You know what to do. And then next, there is a lot of... Morse code. Which I do not understand Morse code. At all. So, if you guys understand it... Then that would be great, but I have no idea what it says. So instead, we're just going to be looking at this. Alright, I believe that is all of them. So as you see, there is a lot more lore added into the game. Multiple characters have things like like intertwining them and stuff. They have backstories. They have all of this lore that shows that people died or did not die. Or, you know, whoever becomes the leader of the new place. Their group they're in. And just things like that. I will not try PC everything together. But there is a lot that you, you guys could do yourself, right? There is a lot of stuff that is now solvable, what kind of, you know, happened between people, what happened to create the ghosts, and just things like that, and just in general, cool stuff, All right? So that is that, that is all the lore that was added recently. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I did not really speak over the stuff, it's just I've been having some issues lately with my mental health, which is something I don't really want to talk about, so let's just leave it at that. And I just don't really have the time to suffer with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like if you did. If you didn't, that's okay, you could leave a dislike, you know, appreciate subscribing, you know, or liking, or disliking, I appreciate all of it. It, you know, supports me to see if I'm doing something good, something wrong, or if you actually really like my content. Either way, I'm done, so I'll see you guys in the next video or the next stream. I'm just gonna look at my anime girlfriend real quick, because I'm a freaking weeb. And I'm done. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.